sand through the hourglass, so are the gators lives. Previously on Gators of Our Lives. Because he ruins my life. He's always walking into the middle of my conversation. He's an arrogant asshole. I fucking hate you. Will you marry- Hey guys. Steve. Oh, hey Steve. Uh, I have a very important announcement to make. Hey guys. God damn it. Guys. <laughs> it's Steve. He's missing. Kai, help me out of here. I'm cuffed to this pipe. I'm scared. Now, why would I do that? I'm so fucking tired. I'm so done with it, Steve. You <laughs> Hey, guys. Dude, how are you right here? I'm not real, Carl. You made me up. Man, I don't need you to be sorry. I need you to tell me where the body is. It's, it's down in the basement. Yo, bro, everything's taken care of. Oh, thank you so much, man. Seriously, like, you've saved my life. I think there's someone at the door. You, Carl? Yes? I'm Detective Kelly. I have a few questions I want to ask about the disappearance of a man named Steve. Admit that you did it! I didn't do it! Carl, just tell him the truth. It's the right thing to do. Come on. I've talked to your sister. She said you hate Steve. He was with me. Who are you? I'm George, and this is my son Carl. He would never, ever do anything to hurt Steve. Why is George lying? Carl, Carl, I just got off the phone with Detective Kelly. They said they found his body. He's, Steve, he's, he's dead. It was in a dumpster behind an alley. They said he got stabbed like 30 times. Do they have any suspects? I'm so sorry. He said that he said this thing happens all the time and that they barely ever get the guy. <laughs> I can't believe you're gonna get away with this. Carl, you can't just like hide from the world forever. You know, actually, Steve, I can if I want to, you know? It hasn't even been that long. Yes, it has. I died over six months ago, bruh. Yet I still can't get you out of my fucking head. Don't be mad at me, I'm only trying to help you. There is no helping me. Why can't you see that? I just... You just what? What, you wanna help me? Is that what you wanna do? You wanna help me? You wanna make it all better? Well, you can't, man. I... I have to... I have to live with what I did. I have to live with what I did to you. And I have to live with everything that has happened because of my decisions, because of the things that I've done, because... I killed you. I have to live with that. Fucking live with it, man. I don't know how. You have to stop blaming yourself with what happened with Samantha. But I am to blame for what happened. All of it, all the stress, the heartbreak, everything I put her through. Miscarriages happen every day, Carl. You don't know that you're the reason to blame for her stress or that that's the reason why she's so stressed out or that you're the reason why she had the miscarriage. Well, I know it didn't help anything. I ruined everything. I was going to be a dad. I was going to be a father, man. It's more than I ever thought I could get in life. It's more than anything. I, I ruined it. You need to go and get out, dude. You, you gotta go do something. You should go to Samantha's and hang out with her, you know? Like, I'm sure she misses you. Maybe you're right. I suppose I could go. Swing by for a few minutes. Hi, Samantha. Carl? Oh, oh my god, I, I, I can't believe it's you. I, I, I've missed you so much. I, I've missed you too. I'm, I'm sorry I've been distant. I, I just don't understand. Why would you cut me out during the worst time of my life? I... I just... We lost Steve, our baby, and you. If it wasn't for Dad and Detective Kelly, I, I, just, I just don't know what I would have done. De De Detective Kelly? Detective Kelly? What does he have to do with any of this? After Steve's funeral, we ended up going out for coffee, and we've been dating ever since. He was there for me when you wasn't.
call, you have to stay calm. She's been through so much. She needs you as a brother right now. Stepbrother. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What, what was that? I, I, I couldn't hear you. Um, n nothing. I, I'm just, I'm just happy that you're, you're, you're with someone who makes you happy. Oh, thank you so much, Carl. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that you're okay with this. I, I, I was so worried it was gonna make you angry. Yeah, sure, sure thing. Look, I, I have to go. Are you sure? I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna make us dinner. I was, I was hoping you'd stay for dinner. We can, we can do dinner soon. I, I, I promise you. I promise you. I just, I just, I just got a lot going on. I just, I, I, I just have to go. I'll fucking kill him, man. I'll fucking kill him. I'll fucking kill him. I'll fucking kill him. Fuck. 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 Carl, you can't. It will destroy Samantha. I'm not sure she can handle much more heartbreak. Yeah, you're... You're wrong. You're wrong, man. You're, you're fucking wrong. She's only unhappy because... Because we aren't together. If, if people would just leave us alone. And just, just, just stop interfering with us. Maybe she just doesn't want to be with you. What the fuck did you just say? I, I, uh... What the fuck did you just say? I just thought... See, that's the thing, Steve. You never fucking think. I'm going to kill Detective Kelly. And there is nothing you, or anyone else, or anything can do to fucking stop me. There is nothing you can fucking do.